Welcome back y'all to Sawyer Ridge Farm. So today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be, you know, your kind of homesteading type uh, uh, video, but I just thought it'd be pretty neat. Y'all probably wanna see this. Uh, so right now what we have is, I believe these are 40 millimeter mortar cans or like, you know, military ammo cans. These ones I believe had 40 millimeter mortars in them. Uh, they do not have them in there right now, okay? Um, but so what this is this one doesn't have anything in it I was just gonna let you see what this one is so I'll take this one down but what this is is just you know you can call some people call it a cache or something like that and so this is actually like four years old and I was doing when I first moved to this property I was watching some YouTube videos and, and such of that nature and uh I seen a lot of these like caches, people doing, uh, putting stuff in them, you know, and putting them up in the woods. And I thought that'd be kind of neat. And I've heard people doing them with ammo cans and they're saying how like, robust an ammo can is. You can have it rusted on the outside, but the inside's perfect. And so I kind of want to do my own little testing to do that. I was going to do it periodically, like a year, two years or something like that. But... You know, time just kind of, I guess, got away from me. I kind of forgot about it a little bit. And then, you know, I just never kind of went up. So four years now, uh, we're going to pop into this and see. Honestly, guys, I don't even know what's in here. Um, I have a vague memory of what I put in here, but I don't even know. I haven't opened it yet. So as I'm opening it, this is the first time me seeing it. And, and y'all are going to be seeing it also. I thought it'd be kind of a cool little video just to just to see how it did. This has been out in the woods for a year. I think I just shoved it under a rock. Sorry, four years. Uh, Alex corrected me. Uh, it's been four years and I just like shoved it under a rock and I just kind of wanted to see what it'd do. So let's pop into this thing. All right, so we're gonna, pretty much all I did on this outside was, I don't know if these are actually Mylar bags, but they're just kind of the plastic bag. And I just wrapped it around and then taped the top side of this can. And uh, we'll pop it off. I don't know what. Oh, the air came off of that. I do not know what this is going to look like in here, so we will see. All right. So I put a couple oxygen absorbers in there, they're hard. But they're not too hard, so that's, that's a little bit good. And then on the inside here, I don't know if you can kind of tell, uh, I just put another one of those bags on the inside and taped it up. So let's crack into here and see. I'm kind of excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just keep forgetting about it. And we'll see what we got. I mean, so far, guys, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I won't count my eggs too soon. So I got some more oxygen absorbers in here. They're hard, but they're not like solid. So, I mean, they still feel like they're probably pretty good. And these ammo cans, just to show you, they got this seal on the inside. So they're pretty good about keeping the somewhat of the air out with these cans. But uh, so it looks like... This is just some um, kind of food. Um, I mean, you can kind of see it right now. I mean, it it looks good. It's not like it looks like almost the same time I put it in there. Uh, so, I mean, that was looking good. So that got a couple of those. Um, like I said, I don't even know what's in here. So this is going to be a surprise. Uh, got a little survival can essential thing in there. Let me crack that open. Oh, that's that's look good. Doesn't look like anything's rusted. I mean, this doesn't look rusted at all. Wow, I'm pretty surprised. Um, got some shotgun ammo, foot powder. Yeah, you're gonna want that, and when you're in the woods. Any of y'all that were in the military and the infantry, this stuff is the stuff you want. This is a powder. 
Let me see if any like moisture or anything got All right, in here. So sorry guys, the uh, memory card filled up. But like I said, we pulled out the powder and uh, let's see here. See, powder's still good. It's not all you know clumpy or uh, anything like that. I mean, it looks just like the way I put it in when I first put it in four years ago. Okay. Um, I pulled some other stuff out here. Just I had some ammo. I wanted to see how that would do. Um, up here, uh, had just some cup, some cans of chicken. What is this? Chunk chicken. Just your great value, and I don't know if you can kind of hear that. I mean, it's sounding good. I'll open this up in a minute. Um, I don't know if I'll try it or not, but maybe we'll see. Let's just see what else is we got in here. Got some more ammo. And guys, like I said, I was just trying to do. I was really curious. I always hear people doing this, and I'm always. I want to know for myself if it actually does work because I'll say right now, I feel like it is. Um, I'm gonna get into this chicken, and I'm also probably gonna um, shoot a couple rounds to make sure you know the rounds were, you know. But they they look. I'll show you right now. These are some uh, 45 ACP. You can tell right now. I mean, those look. Those look good. They don't look corroded or anything. I mean, these look. I mean, they're pretty good. Uh, I'll probably take a couple of them and try them out. But I'm, from the way they look, they look like they'll be good. We'll see what else we got in here, what kind of goodies. Oh, just got some MREs. Um, let's see. Oh, is that all we got? Yeah. Some more chicken and... Yeah. That's pretty much all we had in here. Um, like I said, four years ago, I... Just threw some stuff in there. I was like, hey, let's just try to see what this does. Kind of packed it full. And I wanted to test it myself to uh, see if it actually does work. And a lot of this stuff, it didn't cost too much whenever I bought it. So if it did, you know, say a road and everything's bad, it, it wasn't, you know, an arm and a leg uh, for what everything costs. But um, so far it's looking good. Let's crack open this this chicken real quick and see see what it looks like all right I'm real cur curious on how everything is like I said guys I have not opened any of this you are seeing it the first time like I'm seeing it let me get my knife over here I'm gonna do a little, whenever you're doing this, you always look. It's the same thing when you're canning food. It's canning food, you look at it, okay, it looks normal. Give it a smell. It's smelling normal, doesn't smell like it's, you know, nasty or anything like that. I'm trying to see if I can find a, a Best Buy. It says Best Buy 15. It's smelling fine. Uh, you know what? I'm, I think I'm going to give it a little bit of a try. Alex is grinning back there, but I'll just do a little, little piece. Guys, it tastes, I mean, we eat these, this type of, we, we've eaten this chicken and stuff before and Guys, I'm telling you, it tastes, it tastes normal. I know, you, I know a lot of y'all are probably right now almost gagging like, oh my gosh, he actually ate that. But guys, it, it smells fine. It looks fine. It tastes the same, you know. Um, I mean, I got no issues with it right now. I'm not going to probably eat this whole can. But like I said, it tastes perfectly fine. It's crazy. And... Um, We'll put that off to the side. All right, so we're going to uh, just go outside real quick, and I'm going to test a couple of these uh, 45 rounds. Uh, it's kind of raining outside, so we're just going to do it real quick because I want to test these rounds and make sure that, you know, they're not duds or anything like that because I want to just get the full effect on what happened with everything. So we'll go out there real quick. I'll uh, pop off a few rounds, and we'll come back in here and wrap it up. All right, so we're out here. 
I got a steel plate that we normally shoot at. Um, guys, it's windy, it's raining, the old phrase, if it ain't raining, we ain't training, okay? So, I'm gonna, I think I got eight rounds, all right? So, I'm gonna use my handheld wireless peacekeeping device, all right, to test this, okay? So let's test this right now. So, as you can tell, they work. It's uh, accuracy. I didn't think, you know, I was. I mean, I was hitting them. I think I missed maybe two. Um, that was, I know, just my fault, just probably jerking it. But uh, we'll go back in the uh, shop and we'll finish this thing up. All right, so we're back here in the shop and I just want to let you all know, for any safety sallies out there, when we're out there, I had eye protection, ear protection, I knew my backdrop, what was, uh, you know, behind it, and uh, I've been dealing with those type of tools uh, my whole life, so no reason to, you know, comment anything about safety, because uh, I know what I'm doing, um, but as you can see, they worked, I'm blown away right now, like I said, this, I'm seeing it like you're seeing it, and, um, you know, this, these cans are pretty good, you know, and other ways you can use this, you may think, Jacob, I'm not going to be putting that stuff in there. But other ways you can use this, if you're saying, if you're off grid, or you know, if you're out camping and uh, things like that, or you're out elk hunting, if you have maybe one of these, you could put power tools. I mean, you could put anything that you want to keep out of the weather. Say you don't want, you know, a lot of space in your house for something, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It just, this video just kind of, I know it's not your normal kind of homesteading farming video, but I just really, now looking at it, I'm really glad I did because it just goes to show you how strong these, um, these cans are and what you can do with them. Just like I said, you can put anything in there, you can put it out in the weather. Like I said, I did not bury this at all. I didn't do anything. I just shoved it under a rock and you saw what I did to it. Very minimal stuff. So it can be used for anything you want to do. All right, so just uh, another thing, the, the chicken that I ate earlier, I'm still doing good, guys, okay? Um, it was fully cooked chicken, okay? It wasn't raw or anything like that. It was canned chicken. Um, and, you know, I just kind of want to give you a little disclaimer, y'all. You know, you don't have to do any of this. Uh, don't take my advice on anything. I'm just putting this out there and just showing y'all what I've experienced I know people may do things differently and it may work better it may not so I don't want to you know steer y'all in the wrong way but this is exactly what it looks like if y'all try to do it this way if, if that's something you want to do um, but just kind of gonna wrap up this video hope y'all liked this video if you did hit the like button and if you have any uh, comments Leave them down in the comments, you know, good comments. That's what we always want. Um, and we'll try to answer them to the best of our abilities and any questions that you may have. Uh, but the first thing you need to do is hit that subscribe button. And once you do that, then you can hit the uh, notification bell and that will notify you of new content that we put out and we try to put out as much as we can, you know, just give you as much information as possible. So. Like I said, this isn't your normal homesteading video, but I thought it was pretty neat, and I, I would say this was a success. Did I say it? Success? Yeah, there you go. Success. Um, but y'all take care, and uh, God bless.